Welcome back. In this tutorial, we are going to replace or update a text file that's been saved in Google Drive with some Google App Script. To play along and I encourage that you do, you can grab a copy of this starter script in the link in the description below. Once you've made a copy, we'll get cracking. Okay, you're back. So as you can see, this is a standalone Google App Script file. And in this standalone file, we have two functions we've already generated. These are going to be our run functions. The first one is called runsies number one or runsies and then runsies two. This will be used for our testing. Uh, in runsies, we have a, have a text variable, a file name variable and a folder ID. And the same for our runsies number two. So what we're going to do is create a new function, which is sort of emulates a class here that we're going to use to call on to either update or replace our target file, which is this song that never ends text file here. So let's get cracking. So we're going to do things a little bit differently to a normal function that you might be used to. It's kind of a gateway to learning about classes, but this is sort of a, cl a quasi class here. If you're at that stage in your learning cycle, this will be good for you. So let's go ahead and create a function and we'll call this file right. We'll use the first letter capital syntax for classes, but again, not quite a class, this one. Okay, so what's going to happen in here, it's going to return uh, a object containing two properties, and those properties are going to be functions themselves. We'll contain those properties in a public API. Okay, and we will create that public API up here. So this will be... Uh, const public API is equal to a object here. Okay, so it's empty object. So why can I edit a constant variable? Because the constant variable is only uh, referring to what this is, this outer object here. So we can still make edits inside that object. Okay, so let's do some JS doc to help with our documentation here yeah i know the fun stuff so what does the what does the function do it updates or it replaces the existing file data and it takes it has it's going to have three parameters right it's going to be that text the file name and the folder so we want to param param not pram and the first one, and they're all going to be strings. And this first one is going to be the folder ID. Uh, we don't need any more explanation than that. I think it's fairly clearly stated. So yeah, two more times and just change these last values here. The next one will be the title. And the last one is going to be the text. And let's add these into this parameter space here. So folder ID title text and what is it going to return well that's going to return two parameters uh, two properties of an object right so it will return something special let's make a type definition for this that we'll call file right and then add to that in a moment and we'll explain what it is it will uh, return just this object replace or update cool okay so up the top here let's make this file right type definition so we can see it when we're working okay first thing we'll say at type def it's going to be equal to file right and then the first property is going to be a function and uh, that's going to be called replace and the next one is going to be a function it's going to be called update cool nice okay so the first thing we need to do is to get the folder id so the containing folder id that we'll have so we haven't got it here so we need to get this folder id first so let's go over to our file here this will be our folder id we can see that's going to be in this test folder so i'm going to hit Control c to bring this over and perhaps put that down here and comment it out 
I'm just going to grab this little folder ID here, control C, and like that in there. And we may as well work it in Runsies too for our next our test later as well. Cool. Now that we have our folder ID, we can go up here and we'll say const folder is going to be equal to drive app dot get folder by ID. And that will be the folder ID. Oh, const. And the next we need to find the file to see if it exists, right? So if it hasn't already been generated, just like now, it's not there, then we need to uh, check to see if it's there or not, which we can do fairly simply. So let's create a constant variable called find file, and that's going to be equal to folder.get files by name. Because we know in Google Drive, we can have multiple files with the same name. And then we want to put in the title here. So D-O-T-L-E. Now note in our title, you'll also need the extension of the file. So I've got the .txt here. You have, might have .js or .html, etc. Now we need to check if the file actually exists once we've got that. Let's say const file is equal to... And then we'll say if find file exist. So if find file has next. So if there's an item in the find uh, the get files by name array that it generates. So if it has next, put a little question mark in here, and we'll say find file dot next. So we just want the next one. Uh, we'll just assume that we only want one file the same name. Otherwise, we want to grab the folder and then we'll say create file. And here we can say we can add in the title and then we'll add in an empty string to create the text file. Cool. So if it doesn't exist, we'll create the text file ready for us to go. Okay, so now we can work on our little public API. So let's actually move this public API variable down here to keep it all together and we're going to create our two public apis so we'll say public public api dot first one is going to be replace and we'll create a function out of that one and that and this will be a nameless one for replace all we need to do is to reset the content of the file that we have here to the text that we're drawing in so we can say here file dot set content here and type in text cool otherwise if we want to have if we want to update it so append to the end of this file we can use this update function that we're going to generate and that's going to be function and here we first need to get the content so we will say const content is going to be equal to file dot get blob so it's going to be get us some blob data and then we want that blob data as a string so we can use the get content oh, get data as string cool now that we have the content we can then first add in our content then the text so now we can say file dot set content just like we did before and we first want to add in the content and we'll probably want to put things on the next line actually let's uh let's use template literals here to keep things nice and ordered and we'll put a dollar sign the curly braces in here and the first thing first variable we need to add is in our content and then we want a new line backslash n and then we want to add in the text so append the text to the end and then we're should be done so basically we need to on our file right we're going to add in these parameters here we're going to look for the fault we're going to grab the folder that the file should be in and then see if the file exists if the file does exist then we need to if there is a file with that name we want to get the next one assuming there's only one file with that name in it otherwise we want to create that file once that occurs we're going to uh, grab the replace 
function here or the update function and replace will set the content so it's going to uh, just create new content for that particular file and update is going to draw all the content from that file as a string and then add that in first to the set content and then add append the text to the end of it okay let's try out our runsies so let's let's go file right and remember this is a function that we're going to add in some details the first one is going to be the folder id which is a folder id here then we want the title which is going to be the file name and then we're going to add in the text okay so we've got everything there and then what do we want to do to the end of it we want to let's say replace this time and that's a function don't forget okay let's hit save and let's go ahead and click on runsies. Now, the first time you have to run this, I have to go through authorization. After that, you'll be fine. Okay, so you can see over the right hand side that our text file has been generated. Let's give it a double click to see what's inside. And then we've got our little song in here. Now, if we replace it, it's going to, using Runsies number one, it's just going to replace it with the same song here. It's going to be a bit weird to see. So let's just use this Runsies number two here with Control C, Control V down here. Make sure it's all lined up, tab. And let's just go into Runsies two and hit run. Okay, and double click to see what's inside. That was crazy. That was crazy. Cool. All right. So let's go ahead and instead let's first replace the current text of that was crazy to back to our song in Runsies one. And then instead of replace, we will update. So once it's replaced, it's going to run this one time. So it should produce this two times now because we've got to replace and then an update. So let's go back to Runsies 1 and hit Run. I'll close this so it won't refresh yet. Okay, let's double click, open it up. And there you go, we've got the song occurring two times. Let's hide this one and hit Runsies again. Close that while we're waiting. And we can see the file has been updated for a third rendition of the song that never ends. Just for fun, let's do it the fourth time. Because it does indeed go on and on, my friends. Double click. There you have it. Four more times. Wonderful. Okay, everything's running successfully. So in this tutorial, we've managed to create a new file if it doesn't exist in a target folder and then add some text to it or update some text by appending it to the end. Let me know how you're going to use this in your own project. I always find it inter interesting to see and it's great inspiration for other developers like yourself. If you've enjoyed this tutorial, please hit that like button. And if you want to see more tutorials like this, subscribe. Until next time.